Okay, welcome back. Um, I have now finished the work on the first person view in uh, cover. So I will in this video show how it works and I will also show how it is done. And frankly, I um, ended up spending too much time on this, uh, more time than I wanted to. So that's the reason for uh, me not showing how it's the process because I kept making so many mistakes so okay um, when we are looking at it from this side we have uh, everything working as uh, before um, the one in uh, going uh, in minus one you can see in, in the left corner uh, the direction so one means uh, we are moving um, to his left side and minus one is his right side. <clears throat> so when we come into first person, um, one thing you will notice is that uh, we have the restriction on the on the head now, so he can cannot move so much to the the right, uh, but he can actually look quite a bit further to the left. And if I press the um, the left uh, move button, he will move um, to his left. And if I, um, no matter what direction I'm looking, actually, if I press the right uh, key move button, he's gonna move right. And uh, if I zoom out in uh, third person, uh, when I pu push the right, he's gonna move right. So in that case, it's gonna be opposite. And that's, um, yeah, well, I think it's more logical if you look at it from this side. So uh, you're just holding the right key now um, and now holding the left key so holding the right key if I switch in then he will actually switch and move to his um, right okay um, I also did one more thing because I kept uh, hitting uh, I was looking this way and I pushed forward so <laughs> uh, each time I did that uh, I ended up jumping off the, w the wall so I actually removed that so now I can for example hold uh, the right and forward because that's a kind of an instinct that you will hold both both of them down uh, but if you uh, re re um, let go of the, the the side moving button he will stop moving um, I thought about one um, finishing improvement to this controller and that would be to take kind of his uh, viewing direction so if I'm looking forward um, well then just the left and the right um, <coughs> key buttons are gonna mean anything but if I so if I don't if I press forward now nothing should happen but if I was looking in the general direction like this uh, and pushed forward then he would move forward um, I haven't really figured out how to do this yet, so uh, this is just a thought for now. Uh, something I will uh, eventually uh, implement. But as you can see, um, well, I got hold of the um, sort of um, looks acceptable. I think um, it's not like uh, I can look directly down his throat anymore. Um, maybe a little bit, but. Um, well, I think it's it's uh, okay. Um, so let's take a look at how. Uh, oh, yeah, and one more thing. Um, I also have uh, the way to let go of the the wall now um, is by um, just pushing crouch again. So go up to the wall and hit crouch, and that's gonna snap him to the wall and hit crouch again. That's gonna let go of the wall. So. Uh, Hit crouch and hit crouch again. Actually, he's gonna. Oh, he's gonna just point towards the wall. That's kind of boring. Okay, that's also another uh, place for improvement. So we had two um, uh, further improvements. One was uh, the movement buttons. When when. Uh, in first person like this this and looking in the direction and moving in the direction 
And the second one I may take a look at is also uh, the transition from going from off the wall. Uh, and the third one, which I will probably also um, address, is the fact that he's actually, there's a spacing between him and the wall. So uh, that's probably going to be an easy one to fix in, in animation. Um, I hope I've said that before without it being very easy, any easy at all. So anyway, um, that's a demonstration for this part. Um, so um, inside the blueprint, um, I made a few changes. Um, so if we start off in, um, in the move right, uh, handler. Um, I see I didn't clean this one up, so this is kind of in the same terrible state. Oh, wait, I didn't finish this one. Huh. Okay, I will do that in the process. So what we have is this part is the same up until this branch. I didn't touch that. So I just moved uh, this stuff from since last time. So what I do now is I say, okay, um, we uh, negate the right value if we are in, uh, in first person view. So um, we can see if we just move this over. And um, then we add this to the movement input uh, called in movement input. I didn't touch the, this either. So this is just um, uh, unmodified um, since the last video. And then I have this bit saying uh, how to update the movement direction. So we say um, if the, the axis value, which is going to be the uh, minus one or, zero, uh, or one, uh, and zero if we're not moving, uh, if this is either uh, minus one or one, uh, meaning it's different from zero, um, then we want to update this last movement direction and uh, last time i think i called the current movement direction it kept uh, confusing me so i renamed it to last movement direction um, <clears throat> so that's what we have going oops what okay great uh, so that's what we have going on in that section um, and then finally um, we have this uh, part saying, um, okay, let's change this one. This part where we um, just tell the um, animation in, uh, blueprint uh, which direction we are moving and then uh, return out. <clears throat> so you have, if you, yeah, been following along, uh, you can just, yeah take this stuff and just copy it if you want because this seems to work fine uh, for the right handler um, I was open I yeah we have this line going down here saying that if we are in standing cover we should blah 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 uh, I just connected this part because um, yeah, I didn't want to pop off the wall when I uh, pressed uh, forward. So I'm going to comment this and say disable. Um, so I can keep it in here in case I uh, make, a, make a change of mind. So let's close this one up. <clears throat> um, so I also changed. Uh, so we have the, we have the bed covered and um, we uh, didn't change anything in here just make sure that we when we try to take cover uh, we set the movement direction to one because that means we're going into the left movement um, uh, which it will do initially if you remember from also from the animation blueprint we will always enter this transition animation transition using the left uh, idle pose Okay, and um, the big change uh, was done inside the adjust camera zoom. So all of the beginning here is the same and I didn't change anything here. I don't think, I think this was minus 110 last time also, otherwise you can change that. Um, 
and if we move a little bit further over um, I think it's about here um, where we have the check for um, if we are standing in cover I don't believe we had this had this one last time but so I checked this at the time if we are standing in cover then we will handle some stuff up here and if we're not in cover then we will be in the climbing uh, section climbing uh, movement state because this one only this uh, well maybe I should have a check but well um, I think we should be safe uh, it seems to work um, but could be that it may break if we don't have a check for this anyway so let's cover the, f uh, the few easy parts first um, if we are in the climbing state then we uh, if you remember from last time the 10 8 and 0 were the defaults I think maybe I had minus 10 here but I decided to just put this to 0 um, I think the, let's just keep this because it seems to look good okay and then uh, we have two new variables called local your le local left your offset and local right your offset so these two variables are local variables as the name suggests um, and they're just floats so they um, mean they are, they're gonna be an offset that we want to add if we want to add something to um, uh, the the camera limits and since we're not going to touch that in this section uh, they are kind of irrelevant um, actually uh, actually I don't need them I just realized okay we can uh, safely remove this just connect that here I hate these long lines though um, maybe we can do something about it quickly just uh, Maybe a little bit. No, not really. At this point, it's gonna look bad. Anyway, um, let's continue. So let's say if we are in a standing cover uh, pose or movement state, then we check: Are we moving left or are we moving right? So depending on which direction we move, we are adjusting the um, the first person camera position. And we uh, use a V interrupter, which is a um, vector interrupter. Uh, and the reason for this is that if I didn't, it would kind of snap from the side, from side to side when I was changing direction, and that made it look really bad. So I can actually show this if I make the, these two very high. Um, so this more or less corresponds to. Um, situation where uh, I didn't have the um, the V interrupt so you can see there's a something like quickly uh, a switch in uh, something in the body so you can if I slow down time you can see it's going on here and here and sometimes it's, it's more visible than other times, but um, like this, it's looking terrible. So when I introduce this one, and five seem to work pretty optimal, um, then it looks like this. So it seems it's it's. The movement from side to side is going to be smooth and it's not going to cross uh, well in this case it did um, but it's actually because it, the movement is pretty quick uh, it's quite hard to, to notice okay so uh, in any case it's not perfect but it's, it's better than without this v insert Okay, so the other thing I do is I have this left your offset and right your offset. So in this case, uh, instance, I have uh, I add um, seventy five degrees to our view um, angle, and in the opposite situation, uh, I uh, have zero, but then I have uh, 
75 on the right, you're offset. So these two should be off, uh, opposite. And then I modified the, um, this part here to say in the plus section down here, we add the left yaw offset and in the minus section up here, we uh, add the right yaw offset. So here we have the left yaw offset and here we have the right yaw offset. Um, so it changed these two. And then uh, these will end up giving us the minimum and maximum yaw limits, which will uh, yield the, the result that we see. Um, <coughs> When we are in first person and we come up to the the wall, we can we cannot look any further back than this. Or when, and we can come up to the wall like this and kind of peek around the corner. And from um, third person, you can see he can actually kind of peek. So it looks pretty good. Uh, um, something like this. So if I, for example, just make one tap to the right then I can't peek anymore and that corresponds to him standing like this. So I think it's, uh, I'm pretty satisfied with this result so far. Uh, still a few, um, as, as mentioned, uh, areas for improvement, of course. Um, but um, yeah, it's, uh, it's working. Um, and I might want to do something with this. Uh, this function here is getting huge. Okay, um, I think that's it for uh, this video. I'll see if I will uh, make a continuation of this or maybe move on to something else. Um, I've kind of been stuck in this cover uh, topic for quite a while now and wanna move on to something else. Anyway, um, time, will, time will tell. Um, hope you could follow this and let me know your questions. So. Until then, bye-bye.